Absolutely, and I think a lot of it's too about a fear of failure. I think a lot of people don't do any, don't do things because they're afraid to fail, and I never had that. I just did not have a fear of failure. You know, a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, what if I mess up? So what?" <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just, I never had that. Like, I just was not afraid to fall on my face. When you're a baby, I read this. My uncle gave me a book when I was a, when I was in high school, and it was called the. Uh, like the warrior athlete or something like that. And it was an amazing book. It was a short book. It was an amazing book because basically what it was about, the author was talking about when you're a, he, his theory is that babies, infants and toddlers are the best athletes in the world. And he said they're the best athletes because they have no fear of failure whatsoever. Like if you look at a baby, the baby will try and crawl up a flight of steps. And if it, has no fear, of, you know, when it, if, it fall, if it slips and falls down, it just gets up and keeps trying to do it again. And has no fear about um, preconceptions about his, his or her body, and it just does what comes naturally and just climbs up the steps and slips, it just keeps going. And so um, they're the most in tune with their bodies, their minds. There is no fear of failure in, like a, in an infant trying something for the first time. And, it's the best athletes in the world are the ones who can tap into that as adults, who, who have no fear of failing and, uh, and let go of any hang-ups about they might look stupid if they fall or, you know, whatever. So I think, what, I think you know, like you said, courage is interesting because to me I, I read that as like a fear of, you know, fear of failing. And if you can get rid of that baggage, you can let go of that fear of failing, I think you can liberate yourself quite a bit.